morning, everybody. Welcome to the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe. I'm Jeff Kerbison, and I'm sitting beside somebody who has probably done more media interviews than anybody else in uh, Winnipeg the last few days, Desiree Scott. Of course, a member of Canada's bronze medal winning uh, soccer team. And uh, thanks for coming here. Oh, thanks for having me. I mean, we've all seen the footage of you coming down the, uh, the entranceway at the, uh, at the airport and the mob scene that was there. Can you explain to us a little bit what it's like being you the last week or so? Um, it's, I'm so lucky to be me right now. You know, I have a bronze medal around my neck. I have all the fan support of Canada, especially coming home to that, that crowd um, off the airplane and to see all the kids with the signs and my family and friends. It's, honestly, I haven't stopped smiling yet, so it's pretty lucky. I spoke with Janine Hansen a few days ago and I asked her about what got her into, into sports and she started rowing. She was, of course, a member, a silver medal winning member of the women's eight rowing team. And she said she wasn't sure about rowing so much, but winning the under 12 golf tournament at the Victoria Beach Golf Club 18 years ago kind of fueled her desire to be an athlete, to be competitive and, and be among the best in the world. What was your, do you, do you have a moment like that for you? Um, I've always been pretty competitive in my, my soccer career. Um, I, I love to have fun, but I also had that competitive edge always. And um, I would say going to like our Manitoba Provincial Championships and then going to club nationals, that would be, be the TSN sort of turning point for me where I knew I wanted to play at a higher level. We can't say TSN here. I apologize. Sorry. I use that phrase a lot. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> But what about soccer? You didn't have a bronze medal winning team to look up to. What got you into soccer? Uh, my brother, actually. Um, him and I are like this, and he played soccer growing up in Winnipeg, and I followed him around everywhere, and we used to play in my backyard, and, you know, that's sort of what got my love for the sport, because I love him, and I love what he does, so, yeah. And are you better than him now? Yes. He says I'm not. He said I got everything I learned is from him, so I give him a little bit of credit. Now, in that game against France, in Winnipeg especially, we've seen the replay of what was said to be a sure goal, and then out of nowhere, your ankle or your knee or something, your knee, right knee, yes. came out of nowhere and stopped that. Do you remember that play, or do you, sometimes athletes will say, well, you know, I was just kind of in the zone, I don't remember what happened there, and you have to watch it on a replay. That was definitely it. I was totally in the zone. I, people were like, were you supposed to be there? And I had no idea how I even got there, but I knew uh, <laughs> I was not letting that ball go in the back of the net, and I just threw whatever I had to in front of it. And thank God my body hit it, because from the replay that I saw, it, it was going in. So, You've been back in town now for a few days. If we were to dust for fingerprints on what's hanging around your neck right now, how many fingerprints might be on that medal? Oh, hundreds. Hundreds, yeah. Yay! Now, Desiree, what do you think is needed in terms of trying to build the soccer program for Rio de Janeiro? At the end of the day, you do need to be successful in order to get more funding to come. So I think this is just the start of, of more money coming in. And I think the, all of Canada is behind our team. And I think that in turn, you know, will bring money in as well. And it's, it's important for development because we want to be able to train, you know, as an elite athlete every day. And, and we, need, we need funding to do that, so. Another one from the crowd. Other than the medal around your neck, what was the best part of the Olympics? Um, good question. There was a lot of things that I enjoyed. Um, being able to be in the athlete's village and, you know, see Hussein Bolt walking around and, you know, all the athletes and the, yeah. Um, but I did also get to go see um, the 4x100 relay, which was Hussein Bolt, and then our Canadian men's team was also in that, so that was something on my bucket list. Soccer player, you know, you see all those, you watch the EPL on, on TV and you get to see, you know, I got to play in Old Trafford Stadium. I got to play in the, the home stadium of, of Newcastle. So to see those famous stadiums and to be able to play in them was pretty cool. What's, uh, what's, for, what's next for you? Um, I haven't been home in a while. And so I'm just going to like look to enjoy my bronze medals, celebrate with my friends and family, and just relax a little bit. Our training schedule is a little bit less um, in the next couple months, which will be nice. And um, 
just helping out with the Bison program, hopefully a little bit. Um, going out to see, you know, some of the young soccer players, all the different teams around the city. And that's, you know, it'll be a busy fall, but be able to relax a little bit as well. Have you ever felt discouraged in your playing career at all when you were a child or teenager, young lady now? And did you ever feel like quitting? Because it is, it is tough, you know, did you ever feel that way ever? Yeah, that's funny because I definitely went through that. Um, you know, when my first couple of years of the national team, um, it, it wasn't easy, you know, you're training every day, you're away from home all the time. I'm only in town ever, like maybe two, three months out of the year. So you're not with your family, you're not with your friends, and it, it can get tough. Um, so there was a point where, you know, I was like, is this for me? I'm missing out on so much back home. Um, but my mom, you know, she pushed me and she's like, Des, you have the opportunity to be great and you have the opportunity to, you know, represent Winnipeg, represent your country. Like, why would you want to give that up? So it's, it's, it's hard work, but it's definitely, you know, it's, it's worth it at the end of the day. But I definitely went through that struggle of whether or not I wanted to, you know, continue. But I'm glad I did. Well, if that runs the gamut of questions from the crowd, unless you have any other questions that you'd like to be asked. No, I'm quite uh, all right. Desiree, thanks so much for coming into the News Cafe here. Uh, we're all, uh, I know Winnipeggers are, uh, are proud of your team and uh, your performance, and we look forward to seeing you back here in, uh, in four years. Perfect. Thanks for having me.